We first ask Noah Hawley, how are you feeling? It's a hard question to answer, says Hawley, the Austin author, filmmaker and TV showrunner whose expansive new novel, Anthem, came out January 4th. He asks if we can skip ahead to the next question. We say sure, but mention that the book lends itself to inward exploration. He muses some more. The book is how I'm feeling, I suppose is the simplest answer, says Holly, 54. It's a complicated subject. How are any of us feeling right now? We're worried about our children and our communities. We're worried that the world doesn't make a lot of sense, and a lot of people are very angry. Having read Anthem, a dark and dystopian work of fiction that resembles our current times closely more than it does Brave New World, we can say that Holly's answer is clear as day. In the novel, America is in a tailspin. Ideologies have never been more polarized, violently so. Cultish devotion to a demagogue has emboldened dangerous mobs. An untouchable man of great wealth steals young women and locks them up for his own perverse gratification. Perhaps most troubling, the world's young people are falling away to a pandemic of suicide somehow driven by the internet, which is only unexplainable if you don't consider an obvious explanation. Truth is broken, and it's taken hope with it. Whenever you start a story, you have to answer the question of, when is it set? Holly says. I always try to think about, when is the book going to be read? In television, we're able to interact with the culture mostly in real time. It takes him three to five years to write a book. Holly started working on Anthem in 2018. We had an America that was shifting, he says. A sort of roller coaster of monthly, if not weekly, if not daily change to the reality of how we were living and the perception of what this country was, and what it was becoming. You know what happened next in the story, 